Hello everyone, it's Alex. Today we are gonna work on a tutorial on how to create a background that scrolls forever. So this is something that some people have asked, although there are so many different ways to do that, mostly involving external coding. I decided to spend a few times trying to reproduce this using just quick without any external code, just using regular animation. So this is pretty much what we are gonna get at the end. Uh, of course, we're going to work with much better backgrounds than the one that I'm using here, but uh, you get you get the idea, right? So let's see how to do that. So let's open Quick, and there's Photoshop, and there's Quick here. As you can see, we are not working on a project right now, so I'm going to just move it here. One important thing to do while creating uh, background scrolling forever is to match the image. You cannot use just one image because uh, if you do so, what's going to happen at the end of the image, you, you must move the image back to the, its original position. You're going to see lots of flakes and or white space or black space according to the, the, the color of your background. So you are going to need uh, two or three images. In our case, we are going to use, because you're not using any kind of coding, I'm going to use uh, fake three images and you're going to understand that later on but what you have to do is to create at least a panoramic view with two images that stitch together so if you can see here um, the project that I'm going to create is going to be for the iPad so it's going to be 1024 uh, pixels by 768 so what I did here I created this image in Photoshop it's the double size so it's uh, 2048 wide by 768 so this way these two images are going to simulate a large panorama okay so i create that this part here is simple it's easy to do but to match this area here with this one here is a little bit trickier so you're going to see probably you have seen our ad uh, why it's playing there's some glitch in the connection but again if you do it correctly you are a much better artist than me for sure so uh, you're gonna do a, a better job you, you're not gonna see any kind of uh, tricks here and then let me zoom uh, it quickly here so I try to make everything coming up to this uh, rule here so I think you got the idea those two ends here must connect so this way it's going to simulate a nice um, background so this is not our quick image you're going to need it uh, but let's create a new project here so we are going to create a new project and i'm going to call it uh, tutorial back background i'm going to select the ipad because again i planned this image as the i for the ipad I'm not gonna use this, it's gonna be an empty um, project and I'm gonna create. So there's an empty page here, uh, an empty background, I'm not gonna use this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to this image here and I'm gonna select just the first part of the image, which is again 124, 120, 1024 by 768. I'm gonna copy these and I'm gonna uh, paste it here so this is gonna replace my original background I'm gonna name it just to make it simple uh, IMG1 so this is gonna be the first image I'm gonna create a second layer I'm gonna call it IMG2 and I'm gonna come back here and select the second part of the image so it's gonna be here uh, Ctrl C or Command C or Edit Copy and go back to Photoshop here in Image 2, the layer Image 2 and I'm going to paste it. Okay, so I have the first two images and what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this Image 1 here. I'm going to duplicate here it. Okay, and I'm going to call it IMG3. So. IMG3 is going to be the reproduction of IMG1. So this way you're going to have a big panoramic, 
panorama with three images. So because I'm going to use the same image as image one, I'm going to select IMG3, come here in the layers and replacements, layer properties, and say that this layer, IMG3, will be rendered as IMG1. So this way I don't, I don't need three images in my build folder, so just two. Okay, so next step is to create animations for each one of these images. So I'm going to select image one, come here to the animations, linear animation. I'm going to call it linear one for image one. And what we are going to do is we need this image to move to out of, out of screen. So I'm going to set this to minus two. 2048 so this image will um, cross the screen to the position minus 2048 and why that because it's two times because we are using three image is two times the distance for the last image okay so 248 and I'm gonna play it forever and I'm gonna set everything so the original duration is gonna be three seconds okay so create So we have the first image, but let's go to image two. So let me remove image three. Image two must not start here. So we have to reposition this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna transform the position. So I'm gonna use Command T on a Mac or Control T on your or PC. It is, selects everything. I'm gonna move it to one, five, three, six. Oh, I'm sorry, three, six. Okay, as you can see, it moves to to the out of over screen. And why I'm using one five thirty six? Because as you know, Photoshop uses the the center point of the image as the anchor point. So as you probably are seeing here. So because the 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 the, the screen size one thousand twenty four, we need to add five hundred and twelve pixels so this is the number one five thirty six so this is moving image two to out of screen okay and the image that you are seeing now is just image one so I'm gonna accept that here so this image is now out of uh, out of the, the the screen okay so let's animate this create an animation for that so I'll call it linear two and the last position it's gonna be in our case here minus 1024 because again we are gonna move it to the to out of the screen here okay so again accepting three seconds let's create this and we're gonna do the same for image 3 now in image 3 let's select image 3 again command T or control T and let's position uh, this image in position Two five six zero, and let's accept that. Okay, and let's animate this linear three, and here it's gonna be position zero. So you're gonna move it to the zero position, and again in three seconds. So let's create, and that's it. So all we have to do now is enable export image. And publish. Okay, let's see in Corona. Let's open the project here. Open tutorial back. And voila, you have your uh, background uh, scrolling forever. And again, you can control the speed of this just uh, uh, making the duration as low as low number. Okay, and we are we set the duration for three seconds for every animation. If you put a smaller value here, the background will move faster. If you put a slow duration here, the background will move uh, slower. So this is the way you create using uh, three fake image, in fact two image plus one, uh, in quick without any code. And again, if you are a developer, you know we could achieve this in a much easier way. Uh, just using code but the idea of this tutorial is just for beginner but for beginners you can do it without any code in quick okay see you next week take care bye bye